Hello everyone and welcome to the AI Corner. In this video, I will be sharing with you what I think is one of the most impressive machine learning applications today. In the previous videos, we've been talking about how AI is overhyped today and how we should be very critical when it comes to AI applications in the market. We've talked about how the hype around artificial intelligence can actually hurt the development of applications that actually work and that bring real value. But we've never really talked about these applications and what they are. In this video, I will be talking to you about what I think is one of them which is the application released by Google in 2017, the end of 2017, which is the Google Lens. Some of you know about it, some of you might even be using it, but to my surprise, there are a lot of people that still don't know that it exists. Briefly speaking, the application makes you able to take a picture of any object around you using your smartphone, and it will try to search for similar images in Google. Let's look at a little demo. Okay, so let's start with the random object from the bathroom. Let's take a picture from this soap here and see what Google Lens is going to give us as a result. As you can see, it works perfectly. It's exactly the same product, but um, in order to be a little bit more uh, critical about machine learning algorithms, uh, it's important to realize here that maybe the algorithm is just using these inscriptions like uh, we see that here is like the brand, maybe a few details about the bottle. So all these things might be just fed to an, uh, cl a classic OCR algorithm and then fed to a Google search, right? So in order to challenge that, we're going to um, take another picture of this blank mug here and wow that works perfectly especially this one to the right it seems exactly the same doesn't it what about this hat same thing well we have some chinese uh, inscriptions here that we don't understand but you get the idea um i made this dish today so maybe you guys recognize it i bet you do and google does too it's guacamole what about this one to be honest, even I would not recognize it. Can you take a guess? And yes, it's bolognese sauce. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of guesses. So um, maybe the first thing that we should look at are the, maybe the first, the second, and the third guess. Then the other ones are actually like what uh, a classic Google search with, uh, would actually return. So nobody actually looks at that. All right, let's go to the balcony, take a picture of this nice chair here. Again, I don't even need to ask where I can buy it. Google can get that for me. What about these nice two towers here? And as you can see, I'm taking them from distance. And without even trying to zoom in, Google actually recognized them. So these are called uh, Kurikia towers. So let's do something a little bit more tricky by taking a picture of an unfinished building. Well, as you can see, uh, Google Lens actually struggles a little bit. But in order to help it, you have this nice feature where you can zoom in. And there you got it. It's actually a hospital. It's called San Jose Hospital. And what's really amazing here is that we even have pictures of the hospital maybe a few years or a few months ago when it was less advanced than it is now. So let's get outside and try to recognize this nice cactus. What's nice here is that Google Lens is actually going to try to guess what uh, species trees are. So if you're a uh, fan of trees and plants, you can tinker with that. And even more interesting, we have two trees here, like two cactus. So let's zoom in this little one. And again, Google recognizes it perfectly. It's aloe vera. So let's go a little bit further on our plant slash tree journey. And this is Bougainvillea. It can also recognize lavender. This is English lavender. What about animals? Can you take a guess? What is this animal here? 
Yep, it's a domestic goose. I didn't know that, to be honest. Look at that one. So this is a picture of a pigeon, but it's very small and it's actually very hard to see it because it's, it has the same color as the road. Yet, Google is actually able to, to spot it and to recognize it. And look at this nice puppy. Do you know what breed it is? It's a golden retriever. Let's try that on cars. So this is a car that is taken from the side. And believe me, I checked it. It is a Mazda CX-3, which is perfectly recognized here by Google Lens. That's also a nice application. If you go to a foreign country and you don't know all the signs on the road, you don't even have to ask. You, you can just ask your Google Lens by taking a picture. So I'm in Mexico right now, and these signs means that you cannot park. It would be a B in other countries, but here it's an E. And this is our last example. So this is a sign that I'm taking from a little bit too far. Google struggles a little bit to recognize it, but again, by using this zoom feature, it's perfectly recognized. Pretty neat, huh? So this is the example of machine learning at scale that serves a purpose. So what are the most relevant applications of this technology according to you? Is it something that you are already using or that you are planning to use in the future? Or is it something that might scare you maybe? Please let me know in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching. Again, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And don't hesitate to subscribe and comment. Thank you.